So this is where we are going to do the guided practice. The first thing you're going to need to do is download a copy of the practice. Um, once you've done that, you can either print it out and work directly on the paper, or you can just use a blank piece of paper to solve the problems. You're going to complete each problem of the guided practice, pause the video before the solution is given, and try to solve each problem. Unpause it if you get stuck or to check if you are correct. Here we go. Number one, it says, use any strategy to add, show your work, 223 plus 106. Now they already gave us the, the sum, but we still need to show our work and try to solve it on our own. Um, the easiest way that I can see doing this is just doing partial sums. Now, in the previous video, you saw that I made everything out into expanded form. We don't really have to do that um, because what we're going to do now is kind of count on. It's still partial sums, but we're going to kind of count on. So 223 plus 100, because that's the hundreds place value, that is going to equal 323. Then we're going to take 323. Now there's nothing in the tens place value. You don't actually have to write this one down. But 323 plus 0 is 323. And then 323 plus 6 is 329. So that's the solution for problem number 1. Pause here. Solve number 2. And unpause it if you need help or to check and see if you're correct. So pause now. Problem number two, 149 plus 362. That looks a little bit more challenging, a little bit trickier. So I'm going to go ahead and still use partial sums, but I am going to go ahead and write it all out in expanded form just to kind of help myself out. So I have 149 equals 100 plus 40 plus 9. 362 equals 300 plus 60 plus 2. And I'm going to add each of the place values to get a partial sum. And then I'll add all those up to get the actual sum. So 9 plus 2 is 11. 40 plus 60 is 100. 100 plus 300 is 400. Add all those up. 400 plus 100 is 500. Plus 11 is 511. So 149 plus 362 equals 511. Go ahead and pause now to complete number three and unpause it when you are ready to check your work or if you come into any problems. So pause now. All right, number three, 171 plus 202. Uh, this one looks pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and use the partial sums, but like I did before, kind of count on. So 171 plus 200, because that's in the um, hundreds place, equals 371. 371 plus 0, there's nothing in the tens place, is 371. Again, you don't really need that line in there. I just put it there to make sure you realize we are doing hundreds and then tens and then ones. And then 371 plus 2 is equal to 373. So 171 plus 202 is equal to 373. Go ahead and pause here. Solve problem number 4. When you're ready to check your work, hit play. If you need some help, hit play and I'll walk you through it. So pause now. All right, number four, 421 plus 397. Now this one I'm looking at and I can see that 397 is really close to 400. So I'm going to make these numbers a little bit easier for me to use. So I'm going to use compensation. So we have 421 plus 397. I'm going to add 3 to 397, 
and that's going to give me 400. Now, where did I get that 3 from? Well, I got it from the first add in, 421. So I'm going to have to subtract 3. So 421 minus 3 is 418. So when I add those two together, 418 plus 400, the easier numbers, I get 818. So that's how I solved number four. That's the guided practice. Now your job will be to go ahead and practice on your own and see what you can do. You got this.